Our next match is Gabriella versus Egla. This is a left-handed competition. First, from Brazil, 34 years old, five foot two and 200 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, Gabriela Vasconcello. Here she comes, Gabriela Vasconcelos, the superstar from Brazil. She is a 32-time world champion. This woman is the most dominant world champion in the history of the sport. More world titles than anybody as she makes her way now to the stage. Gabriela, absolute powerhouse. You can see there, the way she's built is absolutely side pressure driven. She is a powerhouse. Derek Smith, where do you see this one go? Oh man, if it goes anywhere inside, I think Gabby is a, a truck. <laughs> so, um, excited to see this contrasting style, contrast in styles. Um, but Gabby, I know she's hungry for this one. Right, she makes her way to the stage now, 34 years old, weighing in at 95 kilos, only five foot two. And her opponent from Lithuania. She is 36 years old, five foot nine, 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, Egla Vatkult. Egla Vatkult, multiple world champion, always giving Gabby run for money, uh, beating her the last, what, four times they've, they've met? Every time. Every time. Egla has, is, she's dropped a round to Gabriela Vasconcelos once in this working career, but won the final. Oh. Egla has never lost. This Gabriella's thorn in her side. Gabriella has all those world titles, but it is Egla Vlatkut who is the most dominant female in the world when it comes to beating Gabriella Vasconcelos. She does it every time. Man, Egla, I know she was speaking in the press conference about always looking forward, always looking to the next match, never looking in the past. So I, I'm excited to see how she, what plan she has for for uh, Gabby and, and how she plans to take her part. Look for the top roll from Egla and look for the side pressure and hook from Gabriela Vasconcelos. The, 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 the height difference is significant. You'll see that Egla stands at much taller at 180 centimeters or five foot nine inches, where Gabriela only won 157 centimeters, five foot two. Gabriela, the heavier athlete at 95 kilos, Egla okay, 84 kilos. But this is the two strongest women in arm wrestling. I assure you, both of these women as good as it gets. This is the match to watch. You want to take a bet on whether it goes to the straps or not? I bet you 10 bucks it goes to the straps. I, uh, I reckon you're right. <laughs> 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 now let's look at this initial grip negotiation. All important, Gabrielle does not have a big hand. She has a smaller hand, but she is built for power. She's going to want to get to the straps. Egla, on the other hand, the bigger hand out of the two athletes. She's looking for control. She wants to take control of the wrist of Gabrielle. I imagine Gabby's been working on her wrist so much for this match, knowing how it's gone in the past. So I'm, this first round, I really want to see how Gabby's wrist holds up, especially with her small hand. You can see a lot of concentration from Gabrielle, really looking focused. Egla, Egla's fishing for that opportunity to take the, take the pronation. Knuckles. No, it's mine. Stop. Referee's grip. Referee's grip call. Gabrielle looked like she was solid and ready then. But Egla, a little unsettled, off the referee's grip. I mean, as a top roller, as a top roller, you want every centimeter. You need everything you can get to really okay, try to exploit your opponent's uh, fingertips. So if you're not comfortable in a grip, a lot of top rollers tend to go to ref's grip to get a more um, more comfortable grip where the okay, the hook puller is not covering okay. the back of your hand too much. So to smart raise. move by uh, okay. by Egla. Oh, be first like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't move your shoulders. Don't move. Okay. And Such a big shot. moment here. Don't the two roll. best female arm wrestlers in the world. Ready. Gabriella. Go. Stop, stop. Well, stop. Early Fast start start. there from Egla. Fast One start. warning. Fast start. Now, I saw, so foul, foul. in, the, in I that saw move, foul. I see Egla okay. leave her riser Referee's up, rib. right? Kick her knuckles up first. and try to roll out Same low, thing. leaving that divot. So in between your thumb and your wrist, the bottom of your wrist, Don't if you leave that little divot, efficient hook pullers can sink a nice hook inside there. So Gabby might be able to sink this in. Yeah. Ready, go. There's that good start from Egla. Got control. There is Gabby in trouble. 
One to zero, great regrip there from Eglet. She, she hit sideways, took the wrist of Gabby, and it was the perfectly timed regrip that actually got control. Gabby was relying on the slip to happen, but Eglet grabbing control, and taking the lead one to zero. Impressive start. I, I'm looking for Gabby to go to the traps after this. Um, I, although her wrist was completely exploited, by the time she started really trying to cinch down with her fingers, it was already out of position. Uh, so I don't think her wrist got necessarily bent all the way back. There's the replay. See, yeah. great pronation back pressure. And the regroup was perfectly timed. Holding the thumb and the index finger of Gabrielle. No escape. Gabrielle acknowledging that one. Egla, one to zero. Good start. The dominance is continuing at the moment. It is so far. 32 uh, world titles from Gabriella. But she's never beaten Egla. Man, she must want this so bad. Um, and Eg Egla, you know, I, I, I sat down with Egla the other day. She told okay. me she feels like she's just made to Okay, girls. She said when she was 15 years old, Gabi. she won a world title for the first time. At You're fifth. Gabriella right now, she's going to look to get to the traps. In that first round, she was testing. She tried a little. She was holding on and intimidating, right. trying to see if she could get control. It didn't work. Egla took control. But right now, I expect to see Gabby all out for the traps. Tie him up. See what she got from there. But Egla right now would be confident. Knuckles up. Looks like she's not really trying to sink the deepest hook right now, unless she's trying to push her bottom, uh, her pinky finger knuckle towards uh, Igle. But I think she's going to go straps. Knuckles, knuckles, girls. Ooh, Gabby looking for a top roll. Yeah, Gabby wanting that strap. I think knuckles. she can see she's edgy. Ready. Going go. early. There, oh, but Igle, great start again. This time they were off to the straps. You can see Gabriella made a simultaneous regrip as Igle looked to do the same thing from round one. Uh, but, and that's resulted in the strap. This is what. Gabriella requires. Egla now is going to have a more difficult time getting free access to the side pressure. The, the strap is going to anchor Gabriella's power down somewhat. She'll let the wrist go if she has to. She's just going to drive sideways. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Well, I, I'm really interested in seeing Gabby's wrist and how it holds up right now in the straps. Um, like I said, you guys, the, the strap really allows the hook puller to, um, a way better opportunity to maintain the wrist to not get busted back. Be because Egla will have a tougher time climbing up into Gabby's fingers with the strap supply. Grip. Now the buckle is on Egla's side this time too, which is going to be good for Gabriella. It is, of course, slightly more difficult to top roll when you have the, the buckle Shoulder. side. So Egla now, this is Shoulder. a difficult position for her. You can see the knuckles up position from Gabby. Yeah, Gabby seems to have a low strap. That's an Australian strap if I've ever seen one right there. <laughs> that low bottom strap is low. More knuckles. Knuckles. Good signs for Gabby, Knuckles. says Derek. Let's see if it Girls. comes to Knuckles. be. Off to go. Egla's going to explode. Look to take the Rookie. risk. Gabby looks Rookie. to take the troll. My fingers are on the buckle. Okay. I can't hold it. Fingers are on the buckle there. Take Gabby the not happy with the position Shoulder. of it. Rotate. Egla is supinating in the Wrist. setup to try to get Gabby Knuckles. off the back of her Rotate. hand. Rotate. Damn, be careful. Don't go too deep into Gabby's Ready. palm. Go. Oh! oh. Oh, Relax, there, okay. Gabrielle apologizing Relax. to the referee. She screams in his face with celebration, but Gabriella just took the wrist of Egla. Yeah, she did. Uh, and she was going for that, you know, with those knuckle, that knuckle up pressure. It looked like Gabby was really aiming for that the entire time. I thought maybe in the strap she would go for a different angle, but man, it worked out. Yeah, second time in her life she has pinned that lady. Egla Vodkud has just been pinned by Gabriella Vessens. Let's see the replay. Look at the side pressure from Egla just crashed into the hand and the secure position from Gabby was was perfect takes the wrist one a piece this match is alive Gabby don't apologize for being a beast don't ever say sorry for screaming oh, man that's an awesome match uh Gabby top roll on the top roller yeah uh, so I mean, I mean this doesn't it, by any means take Igle out of the match uh, I don't think there was any significant damage there done to her arm or, or any kind of taxing uh, of muscle so um, I'm, I'm, I want to see what kind of transition she's going to make or how, how she's going to um, get that top roll off. I don't, I don't think she starts trying to hook. That would be a bad idea. I think she just worries about hand position a little bit more. Oh, yeah. She's staying well and truly away from the hook. As you see, Giannis Amelon's there in the corner of Egla Vodkud, one of the best technical top rollers the sport's ever seen. Great person to have in your corner. Egla will come out firing for sure. She knows she's got control outside of the strap. She's not going to let Gabby get to the strap easily, first and foremost. She'll look to, 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 to gain the, the victory right there. If it goes to strap, look for her to run a little more, take a slightly shallower grip, really focus on just busting the wrist Okay, back. grip, please. 
It's one one, okay? Third match. Shoulder. Shoulder. You see a lot of chalk there on the hand. Oh, Vegler. Shows you Knuckles. really where she's putting all the force. Knuckles. That's Knuckles. where the contact is. Knuckles. It's the Knuckles. wrist flexion, the finger flexion from Gabriella okay. up against the back pressure pronation from Egla. I think Egla's going to hold on and try not to let Gabby slip and try to pin her outside the straps right now. I think she holds on for dear life. Gabby only knuckles up, trying to get ready to slip out top. Take a grip, okay? Grip. Center. Knuckles. Shoulder. Knuckles. Knuckles. Girls, knuckles. But less, More. Less, Stop. Referee's grip. Oh, my knuckle. I can't even bend my tongue. <laughs> Referee's grip. Oh, be careful. Sorry. Yeah, really falling off the table. Referee's grip. You will be first. Like that? <laughs> yes. Okay. It's a you long drop first. for Gabby. She's okay. not the tallest competitor. One apiece right now. Referee's grip coming up. Anyone's match. Anyone's match. 32-time world Straight champion Gabriela Vasconcelos race. in the black on your left from Brazil. Okay. Lithuania's Egl Vaidku, the one woman that Gabriela has okay. never been able to defeat. We are one apiece right now. First. History in the making. Okay. Ready? Go! <laughs> Aggressive start from both ladies. We're off to the strap. Yeah. I mean, they, they both look 100%. It okay. doesn't look like there's any damage done to either one of them. It uh, looks like we're back at round one, Litvania. to be honest. Um, it's, it's anybody's match at this point, still. I think Gabby sticks with the same game plan. I think she goes knuckles up and tries to continue to top row Igle uh, without chasing for that hook a little bit too much. All right, the all-important strap going on now. You can see the buckle is on Gabriela Vasconcelos' side. This will this will help Egla Vaidku. One apiece. Wrist. Right now, Straight Egla to wrist, is going to okay. need to take that okay. wrist. She can't okay. get drawn into that Referee's side grip, pressure okay. battle with the 32-time world champ. Hand. She's too strong Open. there. Look for Egla to Open. expose the hand and wrist. Open your hand, okay? And Gabriela and don't is push. Drive don't nice push. First. Okay. Ready. Go. Oh. Get, ah. getting height. Okay. Straight to the grip. Um, no look good there for Megla. Yeah, uh, just a restart. No warnings or fouls for the competitors. Just a restart from the refs. Open. Okay. Don't move your hand. Okay. Don't move. Oh. Don't move. Eagle grip really high there. Control Don't the height in okay. in the grip, and that's important as Ready. a top. Go. Ah. Oh, he lays hand going back. This is Gabriel's wow. match. Now on Gabriel's arm. Her elbow is all the way down there. Oh, what is? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I want to see. I, we need to see a replay. That match had a story in itself. Egla Vladku drove sideways, but it was Gabby who put the brakes on. Her. Oh, oh, she's breaking the stage. Gabby taking. It's a Tasmanian devil <laughs> on the stage is ripping it's a, the stage up. Stoderadiva. Uh, so what, what a, oh. that was a really interesting round, Derek, because it was, as we see the replay, great start from Egla, but it was, the brakes were put on, and Gabriela Vasconcelos gets hand control once again. She then goes on the offense, we think it's over, but Egla doesn't give up, and the referees don't call the match, we go what? into this Her arm is crazy off. Kings move with the elbow way off, <laughs> no one calls it, they keep fighting, Egla almost gets hand control back, and then Gabby finishes, and then breaks the stage. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Gabby should be happy they didn't call that elbow foul, that allowed her to get the pin. But that was way off. <laughs> okay, all my dignity. So now, score is currently two, two to one. Two to one. Gabriela Vasconcelos, one win away from defeating Egla for the first time. Why is this here? How much is it? Well, somewhere around 20 centimeters. Gabby, one, one round away from achieving her goal, man. Yeah, th this for her is the... It's the completion of the story. Uh, she, she's done everything there is to do in the sport. Okay, girls. Except this. To the table. It's interesting that Egla's wrist is what's going. Yeah, what, I'm trying to think of adjustments for Egla. Like, just ma maybe maintaining height, not being Let's so go, offensive. Girls. A little more yeah, patient patience, center table. Defense. Defense. Yeah. Defensive top roll. Let m force Gabby to have to... To pin her mm -hmm. and just keep that pronation high. It's we'll see though. One, okay? 
like this being so offensive at the beginning, trying to trying to pin Gabby right off the go that Knuckles if she more posts a little bit, she could really do, uh, can establish hand control. Knuckles and center. Knuckles. I haven't gripped up with Igla. Her hands look Knuckles. big, though. She have big hands? Yeah, oh, big hands. Yeah, absolutely. Igla is built for arm More wrestling. Knuckles. As she said, she won her first world title Knuckles. at age 15. Knuckles. Knuckles. Right now, it is 2-1. to one. Knuckles. Gabriella Vasconcellos. Moments away from Stop the start. Ref strip. Right now, where are the nerves at for Gabby? She's never beaten Egla like in her entire career of arm wrestling. Okay, she's she's never done this. She's one win away. Is she yeah. nervous or is she confident and excited right now? I, I think she's found a little gem. I think she sticks to the angle she's been working and she's probably obsessed right now on, on maintaining those same pressures. Mm -hmm. You can see Egla, she's focused, she's thinking, she's calculating every single moment, every movement she's making, getting the position perfect. She knows she's up against it right now. Gabriela Vasconcellos in control so far. I mean, and Egley, this is this is a, a point where we really see what she's made out of, and you know, that champion mindset. Ready? Go! Ah! Good aggression from both ladies there. Off to the straps. No surprises. Confidence in the eyes of Gabrielle. Look at her. Okay. Don't be smiling like like okay, that. Maybe don't be all confident, all right? Yeah. Show a little that you're worried, right? Come on. Of course, she, the re reason for her confidence, she's taken the risk twice now of Egla in the strap, and, and she's got the good side of the buckle this time. Gabriela Vasconcellos, you can see her standing on that riser there. She's confident strap that her side pressure referee. can't be beaten if it goes inside, and she's got the hand and wrist in the strap. So Egla needs wrist, to change something up okay. now. I don't know what that is. Is it a loose strap? Is it a shallow grip? Up. Is it a posting up top roll up. instead of a drag? Where does she go? I, I just think it's patience, man. I mean, I mean, I, she could have better grips in the setup for sure, but I think it's just establishing patience and making sure you completely dominate Gabby's hand before you try to pin. Uh, I, I think that's the key, but she's so hyped up right now, man. I, I don't know if she's just going to start driving sideways a little too early. But I think, I mean, if, it, if Gabby stops the match, I almost feel like it's hers. Straight to race. I mean, if, if she really gets to okay. get a bite in there, get her shoulder committed, I don't, I don't see how Egla opens Rep her up. Rip. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Egla, ready Open. for it now. Buckle Open side. Open. Gabby, Open. one win away from completing the story. Open. Don't move, okay? Don't move. Great position there from Gabby. She Don't looks move. good. She's got that high position. Look at the pronation. No. She's got center. Oh. There goes the wrist. Eggler is in trouble. Yeah. Gabby, big drive. And there is the win. Gabriela Vasconcellos, her first ever victory over Eggler Vodkirk. The 32-time world champion, the most prolific and successful arm wrestler in the history of the sport, Gabriela Vasconcellos, completes the legacy. Well done. Man, that's so awesome, Gabby. I'm so happy for her. Let's see as she celebrates there with her husband. Replay coming up. There is the critical moment where she takes the wrist of Egler, who fights hard to, to give it all, but it's Gabriela and the side pressure getting the job done. Acknowledgement there from Egler, and there is your win. Wow, what a performance. Ladies and gentlemen, let's cross now to Coach Ray with your winner. Wow, Gabriel Vasconcelos. One more time. This is the biggest win of your life. Definitely. No doubt about it. I'm super happy. <laughs> Not only you won the match with the left arm, but you also, East versus West, women's open left arm champion. And you're going to be presented an award. So, Gabby, as the champ, your responsibility is to defend the title. Are you ready to defend it against anyone? Looking forward to it. Hanging, whoever you bring it, I win it. <laughs> Gabriela!
Congratulations, we'll go see, we will seek her one more time later this, this evening with right arm versus Egola. Yeah.